Welcome back friends to Top 10 Nerd. I'm your host Johnny Rogers. And before we get to today's video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you've already watched the new Avengers trailer. Plus, leave us a comment down below with who you think will come to save Tony Stark. Also, I'm warning you right now that there will be spoilers if you haven't seen Avengers Infinity War. With that, let's get to today's video of the Avengers Endgame trailer explained. When the trailer begins we see a solo Tony Stark drifting through space and he looks exhausted and from what we can tell doesn't really have many ideas as to how to get back to earth. Tony decides to use what remains of his Iron Man helmet to send out one last message to Pepper Potts. In the recording he tells Pepper that he's out of food, water and only has a day or so left of oxygen. From what we can tell it appears that Tony is riding in the Milano aka Star Lord's ship. The last time we saw Tony he was stranded on Titan with Nebula, however because as the first shot of the trailer shows him alone, that could point to the fact that the two either parted ways or Tony was so desperate to get back to Earth that he just took the ship and escaped. After that we cut back to what seems to be Earth and get a terrific shot of Thanos' armor hanging in Scarecrow or as the kids call it, T-pose fashion. After that we see Thanos walking through a field very leisurely, almost as if after he did what he said he was going to do, he decided to take a vacation. The hanging up of his battle armor and the casual stroll through the field means that Thanos isn't expecting anyone to come back and take revenge. This could mean that whatever new team of Avengers forms will have the element of surprise on their side. Then we flash to the Avengers base where we see Captain America mourning the loss of his friends while Natasha explains to Cap and Banner that Thanos wiped out 50% of all living creatures. For a brief moment we see Bruce standing behind two screens showing exactly who is missing from their friend group. They show Scott Lang aka Ant-Man and on the other screen we see Shuri right before it changes to Peter Parker. We know for sure that Spidey was dusted in the last film. Remember how I said there were spoilers? <laughs> there it is. But what we didn't know was where exactly Shuri was. Many believe that she survived and was set to take on the mantle of Black Panther, but because she's on the same screen as Peter, that could point that the character had an off screen death. This would be very upsetting for fans, but it's also a possibility with even the Russo brothers naming her as one of the many off screen deaths that occurred. At this point, the team still doesn't know that Tony is alive. Well, they don't know exactly who is alive for that matter. With a shot of Thor twiddling his thumbs, it appears as though even the God of Thunder spirit has been broken by this. The next shot shows Nebula on a spaceship and placing her hand on someone's shoulder. Who this person is, we have to wait to find out. Many speculate that it could be the Collector, which would be interesting. Interesting. Also consider this though, Nebula and Rocket were the only two Guardians of the Galaxy that survived the snapping. It's rumored that this film will use a time travel plot to retrieve the Infinity Stones before Thanos gets them and fulfill the one future that Doctor Strange said they could win. With Rocket alive, he knows where to find the Power Stone, which funny enough is the same as the purple coloring the Endgame logo got for the film. Meaning that the Power Stone could play a big role and so could Rocket. Nebula is also most likely the only one who knows where the Soul Stone could be so the two of them working together just would be awesome. Then comes the reveal of Hawkeye who is now going by Ronin with the reveal of the lone samurai in the streets of Japan. This is a great character change for Hawkeye and with Natasha discovering him means that we will be getting an all new Avengers lineup. And with this new team of Avengers Thor can find the reality stone and if Tony is saved or finds his way to make it back, he would know where the time stone would be and could revisit Doctor Strange to have him explain the right path to success. We also see Natasha and encouraging Steve that this is going to work, to which he says, I know it will because I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't. This could be hinting at the time travel aspect that I was talking about earlier, setting forth this plan to collect and hide the stones before Thanos gets them. The possibility for the time travel comes as a result of the final clip that we see in the trailer. Scott Lang is back from the quantum realm with his van to access the multiverse. With Ant-Man and his newfound knowledge to help the team, things are going to get very interesting. As to the finding of the infinity stones theory that I mentioned, I left out the space stone and the mind stone. With the space stone, they would have to travel back to the final battle in New York to retrieve it after its very public reveal. And for the Mind Stone, well that one may be a little bit more heartbreaking. As you will remember, Vision has the Mind Stone in his head so taking that would mean wiping him from existence. But I want to hear your opinions on this trailer so comment down below with what you think will happen in the Avengers Endgame. With that let's take a look at some of your featured comments from
from the video titled Top 10 Easter Eggs That You Missed in Avengers Endgame Trailer. Sumit Patty says Johnny Blaze plus Steve Rogers equals Johnny Rogers. This guy is marvelous. Why thank you, that combo would be amazing. Maybe I should do that for Halloween next year. Vivek Gubner says, maybe Pepper saves Tony. She did post her purple suit, her name was Rescue, she rescues him. That's a valid point and perhaps she does get his distress beacon to just locate him in general. Jacob Sullivan says, I think they're both in the Guardians of the Galaxy shuttle. That is a possibility. I mean, in the trailer when Nebula puts her hand on the shoulder, you hear Captain America's like overtone voice saying, we lost friends. So it's possible that the clip is showing her finding a nearly dead Tony Stark or dead Tony Stark, but who knows though, my money is on the collector. Joe Colbert says, who thought Scott Lang would be responsible for saving everyone? When he first was trapped and the rest of the team was dusted, I thought for sure someone was going to have to save him. I guess he's smarter than we thought. Kadeem Smith says, Captain Marvel will save him, she's already in space. Maybe her and Pepper will do a team up to locate Tony and bring him back. I guess we'll just have to wait to find out. And that has been the Avengers Endgame trailer explained. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video then share it with your friends. Plus if you're new here don't forget to subscribe before you leave that way you never miss out on all things nerd. And if you want more videos like this one hit that playlist on the screen. From Top 10 Nerd I'm Johnny Rogers and until next time take care.